Did you know that the oldest known lock is approximately 4,000 years old and was discovered in the ruins of an ancient Egyptian palace? Yes, locks and keys have been our trusted guards, safeguarding our possessions for millennia. They've evolved from wooden contraptions to intricate metalworks, and now to digital codes and biometrics. But imagine just for a moment a world where keys are redundant. Intriguing, right? But what if I told you that there's a way to unlock any lock without a key? Stay tuned to find out. Imagine you've lost your key and need to unlock a door. You don't need to break down the door. All you need are some matchsticks. Intriguing, isn't it? Let's dive into the magic of matchsticks. First, we're going to take a matchstick and straighten it out. Carefully apply gentle pressure ensuring it retains its sturdiness but gains some flexibility. It's almost like a tiny wooden yoga session. You're aiming for a straight stick that's still robust enough to withstand a bit of pressure. Remember the key to this technique is patience and precision. Rushing won't do you any favors here. It's not a race but a delicate art form. The matchstick is your tool, and just like any professional, you need to prepare your tools with care. Now that we've mastered the art of straightening a matchstick, we're all set. So, we have our matchstick ready. Now, let's see some magic. Now, this is where things get interesting. The matchstick can actually serve as a makeshift key. It's an insane trick, yet it works incredibly well. So, let's get into the nitty-gritty of how this little piece of wood can outsmart a lock. Imagine the lock as a puzzle waiting to be solved. The matchstick is your tool, your key, if you will, to solve this puzzle. The first step is to carefully insert the matchstick into the keyhole. Be gentle, we don't want to break our makeshift key. As the matchstick settles in, it's time to start the dance. Wiggle the matchstick around, feel the lock mechanism with it, understand its rhythm. It's almost like you're trying to communicate with the lock, asking it to let you in. Once the matchstick catches the lock mechanism, you'll feel a slight shift. That's your cue. It's time to turn the matchstick, just like you would with a key. Apply a gentle yet firm pressure, and start turning it slowly. The lock might resist at first but keep the faith. Continue turning the matchstick. If done right you'll feel the lock mechanism give way. And voila! The lock is open, all thanks to a little matchstick magic. It's a fascinating trick of the trade that shows us how a simple everyday item can open up a world of possibilities. Just as interesting as this trick might be, it's essential to remember the importance of using it responsibly. It's an intriguing skill to have up your sleeve, but it's not a free pass to infringe upon someone's privacy or property. Think of it as a secret superpower that you only use in dire situations, like when you're locked out of your own home or car. Now let's stress this point, respect for others' privacy is paramount. Not only is it a matter of basic decency, but there can also be serious legal repercussions if you misuse this knowledge. In the wrong hands, it could lead to unlawful entry or theft, so let's keep the tricks of the trade within the bounds of law and morality, shall we? So there you have it, an amazing trick with matchsticks that can save the day. Remember, use it wisely and stay curious.